Hello everyone, this is Brian LaDuke of Prevalent Arts. Previously I asked what you'd like to see for a next Affinity Designer video and I got a mix of different answers but some people wanted to see uh, the video that said hopes for the sculpt mode in Affinity Designer. So I decided this is what I'm going to be doing first. Now I just hope it's understood that this is not a tutorial, it's just my interpretation of things that I think could be improved in the sculpt mode. And this is not a, uh, this is not meant to be a complaint because I love Affinity Designer obviously, it's just some things that I think can be improved. Okay so what is the sculpt mode? Well if you take the pencil tool, you see you have up here the sculpt option. The sculpt option will allow you to redraw from the end point or redraw the path completely. So with this uh, frog character here, if I select his mouth and then grab the pencil tool, I could do something like this. Yeah, for this, you need to draw it in the direction the path is going, so... Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Okay. And now for the rest, I'm just going to take the mode tool. Okay, that, so that is the sculpt option. You can and redraw the path or continue from the endpoint. So now I'm going to be going over just three things I think can be improved with it. Sometimes your path auto smooths too much and it goes against the result you are looking for. Now because we have this stabilizer option up here I don't feel auto smooth is really needed anymore. It's just a little thing. So sometimes when you continue a path from the end point, I mean, the path changes a little. And here are some examples of that happening. I've used this character in quite a few videos of mine and when I was drawing her I realized another thing that could be improved with the sculpt mode. When drawing a shape, you know I told you that you can continue from its end point but you can't close the shape with the sculpt mode. I can go as close as to that last node as possible and it won't close. So in order to close it, um, I have to take the no tool and close it manually or use the close curve button. So with the pencil tool selected, I'm going to hold command and then join it that way. But then my shape deforms a little. So I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to take the no tool and then close it like that. So the mistake that I made when drawing her, say the shape wasn't closed. So I'm gonna take a color and I'm gonna fill it and I'm gonna fill the shape. And then with a the stroke, I have different alignment options here. None of the alignment options work, but once I close the curve, now they work. And that's the mistake I made with her eyebrows. So if I select the shape, 
I see that this isn't closed. So then I close it. And then see, it now the alignment option is sticking outward. So you can see that extra black. I'm gonna do the same over here. Close the curve, and now you see the black. So I feel that with the sculpt mode, you should be able to close up the path. And the last thing, that I think can be improved, and I'm okay if this doesn't happen, is for the sculpt mode to work in real time. Now, what do I mean by real time? It means that, it means when I draw a stroke, I see the stroke as I'm drawing it. But with the sculpt mode, you see the line first and then the stroke. Now, like I said, I'm okay if this doesn't happen, but the reason I would like it for like for it to happen is because I noticed that it's also that this feature is in the iPad version. Now I don't have the iPad version, but I was watching some video tutorials and I noticed that you can do this in the iPad. So it makes sense to me to have that feature. So when I go in and trace this sketch, for example, I'd like to be able to see how thick to have the line when I draw this line work. It, it's just one of those things that I think would uh, become useful, but you know, it's okay if, it's, if it doesn't um, come into designer. So these are the three things I hope get improved in the sculpt mode. And like I said, this isn't a complaint. I love Affinity, I love everything about it. It's just some things I think could just make the sculpt mode a little better. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments what you think. So just let me know. Talk to you later.